He is known for his role in developing and marketing the first handheld electronic breathalyzer. He is recognized for winning the Queen's Award for Technological Achievement in 1980 for his work. His name is Thomas Perry Jones OBE. In the world of scientific innovation, one name stands out, Thomas Perry Jones, a Welsh scientist, inventor, and entrepreneur. Born and raised on Anglesey, his journey into the realm of groundbreaking inventions began at Bangor University. After completing his doctorate at the University of Alberta in Canada, Jones embarked on a remarkable career that would change the landscape of technology. It was Jones' work on the handheld electronic breathalyzer that catapulted him to fame. His invention revolutionized the way alcohol levels were measured, providing a portable and accurate solution. Recognizing his exceptional achievement, he was honored with the Queen's Award for Technological Achievement in 1980. Before his groundbreaking work on the breathalyzer, Jones served as a lecturer at the Royal Military College of Science and the University of Wales Institute of Science and Technology. His expertise and dedication to his field earned him a reputation as a respected academic. In addition to his scientific contributions, Jones was also an astute entrepreneur. After selling Lion Laboratories, the company responsible for the breathalyzer, he went on to establish PPM Technology and Welsh Dragon Aviation. Furthermore, his commitment to fostering young talent led him to establish the Dr. Tom Perry Jones Endowment Fund at Bangor University. Thomas Perry Jones' life is a testament to the power of scientific innovation and entrepreneurial spirit. His invention of the handheld electronic breathalyzer not only garnered him prestigious recognition but also made a lasting impact on public safety. His legacy continues through the Tom and Raj Jones Trust, which supports the endeavors of young entrepreneurs, ensuring that his pioneering spirit lives on. In 1967, Tom Perry Jones, along with his colleague and managing director William Bill Ducey, founded Lion Laboratories in Cardiff. This was a significant moment in history as it coincided with the introduction of the Road Safety Act 1967 in the UK. This act established the first legally enforceable maximum blood alcohol level for drivers and introduced the roadside breathalyzer for police use. Two years later, in 1969, Lion Laboratories introduced their own version of the breathalyzer called the Alcoholiser. This innovative device incorporated crystal-filled tubes that changed color when the alcohol level in a person's breath exceeded a certain threshold. Perry Jones, who was still working at the university, decided to take a two-year leave of absence in 1975 to explore the commercial potential of the breathalyzer. Eventually, he made the decision not to return to the university in 1976. Lion Laboratories achieved significant recognition for their technological advancements in breath alcohol analysis. In 1980, they were honored with the Queen's Award for Technological Achievement for developing the first handheld electronic breath alcohol instrument. This device replaced the chemical crystals with an electrochemical sensor, offering a more reliable roadside screening test for alcohol influence. If a positive test result was obtained, further analysis could be done by sampling blood or urine at a forensic laboratory. In 1983, breath alcohol analysis gained acceptance for evidential purposes, and Lion Intoximeter 3000 became the first instrument approved by the British Home Office for testing drunken drivers. Over time, Lion Laboratories continued to innovate, and the Lion Intoxilizer 6000, a more sophisticated breath alcohol analyzer, is now used by the UK police for evidential purposes. In 1991, Lion Laboratories was acquired by the American company MPD Incorporated. Perry Jones reflected on his journey, stating that inventing the device was the easy part, while producing, developing, and selling it presented the real challenge. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.